So Southwest Florida is a mecca for motorcycle riding. Uh, we have, we don't have 365 days of riding, but we're pretty dang close to it, right? Um, and it's not for everybody. Uh, it, it is also a very dangerous place to ride motorcycles because we have um, residents that are part-time that come through and they, they don't pay attention as much. So it, I don't want to encourage that sport for everybody. It's, it's for the ones that are informed and will take the training and, 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 and really enjoy it. But it is an enjoyable sport uh, distraction, kind of like the, what look, looking out here in the sound, paddle boarding and kayaking. Um, but the motorcycle groups that you will find in the Lee County area, um, sure you've got a couple of bad apples like you do in every community. The overwhelming majority of them are former military, former law enforcement, just good upstanding American people that le believe in patriotism. Um, they're people that want to do good and they happen to ride motorcycles. And they come together as a community so within their groups and then collectively, these little circles connect and they, and they connect for uh, when Officer Jobbers was, was unfortunately killed. Uh, we, we got together in a tribute ride, hundreds of motorcycles showing respect for a fallen officer. Uh, every, every Christmas, um, the, the Faithful Few, which is one of the local uh, Marine-based um, motorcycle groups, you know, they're out there collecting toys for tots. Um, you know, it's so there's, it, it's a community, it's a mechanism for community outreach while we all look, you know, we, we get to dress up and have fun too, wearing our leathers and, but we're all, I, I think you're going to be hard pressed to find any one of them that doesn't have an American flag over their, over their heart.